Welcome to the video series of ROS2 Basics. This video should be the most important video of the whole playlist because this video we are talking about nodes and nodes is one of the important parameters of ROS2. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now, before we start with the illustration, there is one nomenclature that you might want to know. When two persons are talking to each other, there is always a topic. Without a topic, a two persons cannot talk to each other. Now, this topic could be anything. It could be a bitching about someone. You are just praising someone. You're talking about career goals. You're talking about how to raise family, how to have kids, whatever the topic could be. The contents of the topic could be anything. But there is a topic always. And when the similar way in Ross, because we're dealing with nodes here, right? So if two nodes are talking to each other, they need a topic. Now that you know this, let's now move on to the illustration part. Now what you see in front of you are three different nodes. Node 1, Node 2 and Node 3. Let's assume these are three persons with the name Node 1, Node 2 and Node 3. Now these three guys went on a vacation on a desert area. Now only Node 1 has a network connection and Node 2 and Node 3 do not have a network connection. And there was no way they could talk to other people. They are in the middle of a desert and only Node 1 has an internet connection. Node 1 takes his phone out and he checks who won the cricket match. When cricket match was going on, everybody was curious because Node 1 had the phone. He checked it and he now knows who won or and who lost. But now Node 2 and Node 3 does not know this information. So how to extract this information from Node 1? They are, they, are, they are thinking about, okay, so when I want to extract some information from somebody, I need to have a first topic. First to establish that there should be one topic. And after you establish that topic, then you say, yes, now through that topic, you give me that information. So in this case, the topic is cricket and the information is India or Australia because these two guys were playing against each other. Who won? India or Australia. That's the, that's the message. And what is the topic? Cricket. Now that you know this, let's now understand in, in terms of nodes, how it would work. Now, definitely node one has an information on who won India or Australia, right? So first of all, what it gonna do is it is going to publish one information out, right? This is going to be the, 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 the topic cricket. This is a topic name. What is a message in that topic? Nothing but India or Australia. That is the message type. It could be like a string. It could be like a binary or whatever. It is either like a India one or Australia one. And the topic is cricket. And my node one just published this information. But when it publishes this information, node two and node three cannot hear it unless and until they have subscribed to this information. Right? So, when node 2 subscribes to this topic of cricket, it understands who won. So now even node 2 knows who won. Then node 3 also subscribe to that topic. So now even node 3 knows who won, India or Australia. Well, I'm not going to start a debate here who won, but somebody won. And node 1 no and now because of that node 2 and also node 3 knows about it. There was one more match going on in football. Right? So in that as well there was there were two teams they were playing and one of them won. So in that case node 1 had one more information it had to give. And let's say it was Italy and Portugal. It was Italy or Portugal. Whoever won this. But this time, the topic is not cricket. The topic is football. Right? The topic is football. But in this case, Note 2 is not interested in, uh, in 
in football so he will not listen to node one so he will not subscribe to that topic but node three is interested so node three will subscribe to this topic and he will say no i subscribe to your uh, football topic and in this case then i also need this information so now node three also knows who won italy or portugal it is as simple as that now after this event uh, all of them went ahead but what happened was node one's phone got discharged right his phone got discharged and there was no way to know the map where they were going were they nigh, like where they want to go and where not for example but node three has a, had a physical paper had a physical map in front of him now node three has one information that node one and node two needs so in that case my node three will publish a topic and the topic could be maps and the message inside that topic is directions where to go left right straight whatever now in this case node one and node two are also interested because nobody wants to uh, get lost right so in this case node two will also subscribe to this topic as well as node one will also subscribe to this topic i mean this is going to be a little bit tricky to anyways let's put it like this right and if you see here they are now like node 2 as well as node 1 subscribed to node 3 so subscribe to topic maps so in this case so node 1 also now know the direction and also node 2 nodes the direction now let's simplify the process or let's see what has happened until now until now node 1 has published node 1 has published a topic cricket it has also published a topic football but it has subscribed to a topic directions node 2 until now has subscribed to the topic cricket as well as it has subscribed to the topic direct maps node 3 has subscribed to the topic football has subscribed to the topic cricket but has published the topic maps so in this case node 1 is publishing two different topics and is subscribing to one topic node 2 is subscribing to two different topics and node 3 subscribing to two topics and publishing one topic and this is completely possible when you have different nodes you can uh, publish multiple topics and you can also subscribe to multiple topics right and in this fashion the ROS works to conclude the story all of them made it to the hotel and they lived happily ever after not together with their partners obviously but the story of this node 1 node 3 node 3 node 2 node 3 ends but the story of ross now starts because after this we are going to understand what are nodes we understood how they communicate with each other but what are nodes okay so now let's understand about nodes we understood how they communicate let's understand about the nodes let's assume you wrote a bunch of code this is like a normal code that you write right so anything like dot python or dot cpp to control a robotic arm let's assume you are controlling a robotic arm using this then you wrote one more code and you are controlling a camera with this again it's a dot python or dot cpp file now in this way in this code you are adding some bunch of magic magic lines to it like um, some some magical lines you add now this magical lines what it does it it defines this code as a ROS node right so and you can give it any name you want 
So for example, I've added this magical line and I've given this code, this specific code, a name as robot tick arm node. And I have given this as camera node. That's it. That's the, these are nodes. Your code is basically going to act as a node that are going to communicate with different nodes. So different codes you write and now they will communicate with each other. Let's take this example. Let's take an example of a simple example of a pick and place. What happens in pick and place? The camera detects that there is an object. It localizes that, okay, this is an object that I want to pick. It localizes, give this 3D information to the robotic arm and now robotic arm goes and picks it up. Simple. So in this case, what happens is my camera node, it publishes one information on the 3D, on the 3D data. And the topic is, let's say, let's say you are publishing um, the apple position. There is an apple in front of you and you're, you, you want to, to pick up an apple. So my topic is going to be apple position right so my my topic is going to be apple position and in this case my robotic arm node is going to subscribe to this apple position topic and with this it's also going to get this 3d data which it's going to use to go and pick up the apple it is as simple as that now you have understood everything about nodes. After this understanding, it's time to get our hands dirty on the code side. So to understand what are these magic lines that we have to add in your, in your code to make it a ROS node and then how do you publish or subscribe to a particular topic, all of these things will be coming in an upcoming video. But before that, if you like this video or if you're loving this series so far and if you're able to understand ROS, uh, then please let us know in the comment section below because it means a lot. We are not doing this for popularity. We are not doing this for money. We are just doing this for our own enthusiasm because as an engineer myself, I have faced this problem of not understanding a very simple concepts because there was no direct uh, documentation about it. And that's why it, it is our duty or we feel it as, as our duty to make you explain this as simple as possible. So if you like this video share subscribe and also comment down below uh, to let us know how you are feeling about it it will mean a lot to us but see you in the next video to get our hands a little bit more dirty in the codes